My name is Jeremy Crookshanks. I'm the product manager for h and Filtration. Today we're going to be talking about the um, new line of de-aeration uh, filters that uh, Schroeder Industries is, uh, is putting out. Here in the next few months we'll have everything finalized, but we do have some models ready to go. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell so you don't miss any filtration tips and tools from Schroeder TV. So, first of all, we want to talk about uh, two new filters. We're going to be calling the uh, ART and the and the TRT. It stands for bottom return tank filter and the top return tank filter. 150 psi filters. Models available up to 150 GPM. Formal catalog pages will be done in early January 2020. Available for inquiries and orders um, currently. So why is new filtration technologies and optimization of uh, your hydraulic reservoirs necessary? You know, global competition always out there as well as uh, energy efficiency. But the real big one for this um, aspect is, you know, legislation, tier four, tier five engine packages getting larger, more complex, you know, leaving less area on the machine for the overall hydraulics. So, you know, the design and the reduction of uh, your hydraulic tanks is, you know, market driven, but if you're not doing it in an optimized, engineered, uh, proper way, um, it can lead to a lot of reliability problems for uh, OEMs and everyone out in the market. So, you know, what Schroeder Industries is trying to do, we're trying to look at all this from an engineered concept and, you know, really put some thought into how we reduce the size of these reservoirs and what uh, new styles of filtration uh, we put into this. So, you know, where it really started was trying to look at the reservoir and shrink the size for our customers. But going forward, it led to, you know, kind of how we redesign and, and how we look at some of our filters. First, we'll kind of look at the, the BRT overview, the advantages and just the overall design of the of the filter itself. So the, the BRT is a bottom inlet filter. It's an end to outflow filter. When you think about an overall reservoir design, you know, when it, when your flow comes into a reservoir in a standard out to end filter or traditional out to end filter, which is what the majority of the market is today, you know, you, you're bringing the filter in at a certain velocity through the hose. You're then slowing it down inside the filter vessel itself. But then as it exits the bottom of the filter, um, it comes out of the filter kind of as a hydraulic flow jet out of the bottom of the filter and into the reservoir at a, at a very high velocity. What we're trying to do with these into out filters and these low velocity filters is filtration flow would come into the bottom of the bottom of the filter here at the inlet, come up into the element from an into out flow. Then from there, lowering the velocity and then exiting the, the filter itself from these uh, de-aeration windows, which are also a patented feature of these filters. So the nice thing about these filters is it still mounts at the top of the tank, so you can remove the element out of the cap as a standard one would. comes with an anti-drain valve. Um, for years, I guess one of them knocks on you know, kind of all um, in-tank filters is that when you go to remove the element out of the filter, it allows that dirt to kind of slough off of the outside or the inside of the filter, depending on whether it's in to out or out to in, and then fall back down into the tank. Well, with this filter, it has a kind of an anti-drain, you know, reverse flow check valve down here in the bottom of it. So as you pull the element out of the filter itself, or that fluid that is, you know, kind of holding there in the inside of the element, is then checked off and not allowed to fall back down in the bottom of the tank, but it uh, actually flows, you know, has to flow from the inside of the element through the element back into the tank. That way, none of that recontamination uh, kind of occurs in that, you know, with that bottom valve. So standard bypass type thing, as uh, as we would see in uh, our standard filters, but um, you know, just a totally different uh, design overall. So just another look at this. So into out filtration directs the flow out of the filter itself, out the deaeration windows, and then uh, back into the reservoir. So minimal turbulence, smooth tank oil blending, um, optional. You know, has some quality protection aspects of it as well as you know all of a lot of these features are are patented. 
um, integral deaeration windows. What those deaeration windows do is they allow the small air bubbles to coalesce up into larger air bubbles and um, flow um, to the surface of the of the tank much quicker. So the advantages are, you know, you improve your deaeration. Um, you're able to use these types of filters to dr- dramatically reduce the oil volume and the size of your customer's reservoir. I mean, that's really what we're what we're driving at with these with these filters is that you know, kind of anybody can take a CFD model of a of a customer's reservoir. You know, especially if they're using it kind of designed as a as your standard. Um, Hydraulic handbook, two to one or three to one rated pump flow is your oil volume. So if you have a 50 gallon a minute pump, you know, people on the old way of doing it would size your reservoir at 100 gallons or maybe 150 gallons. But in today's modern day and age, that is dramatically oversized. So you can see, you know, dramatic tank size reduction as well as uh, simplification on, um, the fittings and connections and everything when it when coming back to the tank. So, you know, this is just kind of a demo unit that we that we built. So, you know, on the on the left hand side, you'll see a RFB unit where you know there's no turbulence or or anything um, inside the reservoir in a much smaller reservoir versus the right hand side where you can see a lot more turbulence coming through the overall overall reservoir and a standard end to out style filter. So this demo unit um, is built and ready to go and we will have this on display at Con Expo in uh, March in 2020. So you'll be able to walk, see that, um, run it, um, get a good idea of what exactly we're talking about, maybe uh, hands on there. So that's uh, all I had for today. Sir, we appreciate your time and attendance today. Um, and uh, everybody have a happy holidays and we'll hope to be talking with everyone in the new year.